This is a video demonstration for the Universal LiFo FIFO buffer. I'm going to start with a once around. Here's the control panel. There you see the manual. Quick look inside. We're going to start with a demonstration and then we're going to show you some of the programming aspects, usability aspects of it. Okay. Let's use it as a buffer. Release the e stop. Whenever you release the e stop, it needs to re zero the elevator. Now it's in stop mode, ready to start. Press the start button. Ready for transfer. That box on top there is a SMEMA box. We'll be sending signals to it like it was in line. It expects a board available from previous before it will send the NAT busy. When you give it the board available, it will index to the next slot before it gives the NAT busy. As long as there's boards in the magazine, it will give a board available to the downstream. It expects the not busy signal from the next conveyor to toggle. If you jumper it and it's a constant call, um, then we'll have to put a timer in the program. All right. After that job is done, we'll hit stop, put it back into wait mode. In order to change the width, you go to setup mode. The widths are stored by program ID. So I'm running program one right now. I'm going to switch to program, uh, program number two, which I've already pre-programmed. So I'll hit clear, two, enter, and then you go back and you hit setup mode to exit. Once it does that, it does a scan of the magazine. The magazine's going up and down. The machine is making sure that the magazine is empty of all boards. And then it's going to do a... Now it's doing width change. It will always bring the width in first to home since they're stepper motors. So it'll home and then it's going to go back out to the set point for what we have stored in program number two. It automatically put it in start mode okay. after setup. So we'll take four boards here. These are all loading one board per slot. What's the maximum board size for two boards per slot? 11 inches long. We'll change program two to two boards per slot and this, this board will run in two board per slot mode. So okay. we're gonna hit stop. We're going to go back to setup mode. Again, program two has already been selected. If you hit the right arrow, it's, this is advanced setup. So this is where you'll enter the information for each program ID. It asks for a password. You'll hit clear. One, seven, three, enter. So nine inches is what's programmed for number two. Right arrow, right arrow. This is where you'll change it to two boards per slot. So you can just hit toggle and then hit teach. 
So it's, you saw how it said teaching product ID 2. So now this has been programmed to two boards per slot. Set it mode to get out. It's going to go through the setup cycle. It's going to do a width change again, even though we didn't change the width. It's just part of its setup cycle when you do a program change. couple slots worth here. Maybe we can get a good angle of it taking two boards in one slot here. Okay, go. Yep, it sure did. Max length is 11 inches. If you get beyond 11 inches, it will not do two boards per slot because there's a sensor in the middle. Now when the board does come to this end, you'll see it comes outside the magazine a little bit and pops back in. That's normal behavior because it sees the sensor at the end to stop and then backs up. So it will come out just a hair before it backs up. That's, that's normal. I'm going to leave this one board in here. Okay. It's very important that the magazine is empty before you make a program change. Um, if you do well, a that makes sense. If you do a program change and there's boards in the magazine, the machine will detect it and will want to go into a purge sequence, which will take a very long time. So it's best to make sure it's empty. But just to demonstrate, we'll go to setup mode. I'm going to change it to program three, which is a 17, I think it's 17 inches. I don't remember the width now, but it shows the max width of the machine. So I'll hit clear. I'll enter three, enter. And then setup mode again. Now there's a board in there. It should detect that board it'll say on there. See it says purge mode, z-axis is moving, checking for boards. There. Now it found it. If it finds one board, it'll automatically default to, it just assumes the whole magazine is full. That's why it says, and it assumes it's full with two per slot. So the best thing to do at this point is you can call them out with SMEMA, you know, if, you can, you're, if your conveyor is calling. So we're going to, we're going to bring it down So you can go through the whole magazine one, one at a time. You'll have to clear the air after each one. This is all built in to make it very intentional that you get every board out of the unit. So you'll call, you would just keep calling them out all, all the way down the uh, magazine. Once it's empty, hit E stop, and if you hold zero and air reset for three seconds, it will erase the count in the magazine. But you don't want to do that unless you're absolutely certain that the magazine is empty, otherwise it'll do a width change and it'll break your boards or break the machine. So when you come back out, it'll reinitialize and it should say that there's nothing in the... Um, it's going to double check one more time just to make certain, but it'll come back and say that it's empty. You see, and it went ahead and did a width change now. It would have not allowed it to go to a width change unless it knew for certain that it was empty. Now, if you look at the width, this is going to go out to its maximum. Oh, I picked the wrong program for my fault. I'm going to pick, um, well, let's do a width change. We'll just put it in ourselves. 
So program number three thinks the board width is programmed to be 6.35. We're going to change it to 17 inches. So we're going to clear the 06. We're going to type in 17. Then we're going to right arrow to the next field, which are the decimal points. We'll enter. And then right arrow to the next field, we're going to clear. And we're just going to put 0. Enter. So now program 3 is programmed for 17 inches. It's programmed for, we're going to change this back to one board per slot, so that's zero. FIFO. Flip function must always remain off uh, since the flip's been removed from the machine. If you turn that on, it'll have unpredictable behavior, and so it's best to leave that always off. Board spacing, that's a uh, number of slots. You can go, I sure. think it's up to three. I think it'll allow you to do up to a triple space. Right now it's set for individual slot spacing. Transfer priority, up, it's set for upline. Best to leave it upline because that's the, the testing I've done. I haven't tested it with downline priority. Again, upline SMEMA enable on and in downline SMEMA enable on. I would leave both those on because I haven't tested it with it off. Auto mode on, that's untoggleable. And then option code should always be 9999. There's a total of 23 slots in the machine. You can change that. I don't know why you'd want to, but best to leave it at 23. Longboard timer, leave that off. And accumulator width offset, that's the calibration value for the accumulator width, 7750. And board clearance, this is if you set your board for 10 inches, but it, it, you need a little more clearance, you can open up. This will add, this is in addition to the board width. So if you set the board width at 10, it'll actually go to 10 plus 0.025, or whatever you put in there. After you're all done, you hit teach, teaching ID three. Now you can come out of setup mode and it'll go through its cycle and it, it'll set to that 17 inch mark. It's gonna come in at zero first again. Pretty sure it'll go to 18 inches. I just can't remember, but I'm pretty sure it'll go to 18. There's 17. We can stop it and we can go to setup mode. So we're on product number three. We can clear that and go to four. Create. We're basically going to create a new one at four. Uh, enter. Now if we go into 4, clear, 1, 7, 3 is the password, enter. 4 had a width of 5.3, we're going to change that to 18, so clear, 18, enter. Right arrow, clear, 0, enter. And there's really no reason to go through the rest of this again because this has already been done. Sure. Uh, so we'll hit teach, always hit teach after you've changed anything in the programming menu. And then set up again. That's it. And now it'll come in home and then go out to 18. So program four, as long as you don't ever change the setting, will always be 18 inches. So you can just select that. In the program, can you change if it's one board or two boards? I don't believe that that is stored per program. Gotcha. I believe that's a, even though it shows it in every program, I believe that's a global change. Gotcha. Okay, well. Anything else you wanted to show here? I think that's it. I just I can't stress enough that that purge function. It's best to make sure the magazine is empty before you attempt a width change. Well, yeah, can't be changing width when boards are in there. Yeah, just it, the 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 purge function is it's painful to get the the magazine emptied if it if it gets entered into the purge purge mode. Okay. Well, that's it for the video. Please let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.